We got our orders. Back of the Summers case. Get an address for McCaffrey. He'll have blown the bar. I'll meet you outside. What you mean you'll meet me outside? Oh, I gotta take answer the phone. Okay. Rusty be thinking ahead of time. I don't like that. Can't be smarter than me. Cole Phelps special. Two, two, Operator, seven. message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Two, two, seven. Phelps batch twelve forty seven. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Apartment six, one two six Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thank you. You know what? One of these days, Cole, I'm not gonna be able to help you, and you're just gonna be on your fucking own. How can I help you, asshole? Yeah, I get to drive my car. And look at Rusty, he's ready to take a ride, too. Oh, you silly Let goose. me pose a question. Depends. What you got to do with? Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends. On what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch in the slam ever found out. Another apartment. Let's check the rooms. Check the room. Not a loss. Only a red basher, but I think we should look in on that fellow traveler from the bar, that McCaffrey guy. Wait, wait, which apartment is it? I was trying to look at the rooms, but it wouldn't tell me. Ah. Uh, let's just walk around till we find a golden door. Ah, what luck. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Terrible shit. Means there's nobody to let us in. You want to do the honors, Phelps? Well, I already did. And what the hell is this? Uh-huh. He said he was at home. He said he didn't know her. And we have the book. Let's see Carruthers argue his way out of this one. Is that you, Grosvenor? Who are you guys? What are you doing in here? We're from the LAPD, ma'am. Do you know where we might find McCaffrey? I'm his neighbor. Is he in trouble? Look, lady, we need to find him, and in a hurry. Are you going to give me trouble? He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we get up there? Down the hall and up the stairs. Drunk and in command of a carrier pigeon. Hmm. Surely we can ride him up for that. A citation, at least. Maybe he just likes to drink near pigeons, you know. Isn't he the cop who won a medal and is solving all the cases? Hey, shut up. Don't talk about me. I don't know. It is kind of weird to drink in a pigeon coop. Frankie, one day we'll be together. One day. Grosvenor McCaffrey! No, Frankie. Fuck you. Grosvenor <laughs> McCaffrey, sit down and we'll talk. Come back here. Oh. I don't even, like, even try to argue anymore. You should just jump down. Oh, no, go back down. I'm trying to hold. I'm trying to, like, control cold. All you got to do is hold down. Everything is so automated. Jeez, Cole, I wish you were a little younger. You could run a little bit faster. Sprint, Cole, sprint. Why won't you, you sprint? Running McCaffrey? Stay and fight the good fight. Why won't you sprint? Try and use your big words on me now, you little motherfucker. Ah, I can't even pull out my gun. This sucks. Apparently, they want me to go this far. There's a reason. It's scripted this way. And... Oh, I thought he was going to get in the car. Sprint! Sprint! McCaffrey? 
You're under arrest on suspicion Damn. of murdering Evelyn Summers. We need to get downtown and wrap this thing up. It's got to be the cafe. Unless Terranen set him up. You don't think that asshole Jameson could have done it, do you? Well, whoever did it, it wasn't that Dahlia fuck. How do you know that McCaffrey didn't do the dog? We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. If you think the list is exhaustive, Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together at a later date. I'll hold you to that. This is my little shortcut. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Sorry! <laughs> my partner isn't the greatest driver in the world! <laughs> you damn right, Rusty. You damn right. We're getting along just fine. What is he doing? I'm sure you can make it stick with one of these suspects, Jeff. It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan is a one, McCaffrey is in two. I want the confession from one of them. Don't fail me, young Phelps. Okay, uh... Let's go to interview room one. I want to make Uh, where is it? There it is. Hi! Why did you run, Tiernan? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. Uh, yeah. Let's use our intuition. Oh, okay, well, we know he's lying. Keep lying to me and I'll have you charged and in front of a grand jury before your feet touch the ground. How can you possibly prove Evelyn and I were more than friends? Let's see, victim last seen. McCaffrey gave you up, Tiernan. He says he saw you go into your hotel with Evelyn. I met Evelyn at the public library. We would read for a while and then go for a drink. Last night, we went back to my hotel room and had some more to drink. I, I must have passed out. I woke up and she was gone. What time was this? Around midnight, maybe later. And there's no one who can confirm this? No, there isn't. I knew you wouldn't believe me. Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it? She wanted something of his. Are you lying, motherfucker? We either hang this on you or McCaffrey. You better give us something. Well, McCaffrey's been in trouble with the law before. I mean, he always makes out it was some kind of labor dispute. But, you know, I'm, I'm not so sure. Uh-huh. You and Evelyn were drinking together last night. And she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. You're lying, Tiernan. You'd been fighting with her. You fought and you... I'm not lying! She got up and left! That was it! Whoa. That's like that movie, I, Robot. He was like, I did not kill him! I'm like, sure you did. Uh, what was that? Uh, oh, the liquor purchase. She left, but she came back. She bought you a quart of whiskey to make it up to you. She told the liquor store owner, you're in deep trouble, buddy. She said she loved me. She wanted to care for me. But she would never stop talking about McCaffrey. McCaffrey was a writer, and McCaffrey was a hero. McCaffrey cared for the little guy. Did you kill her, Tiernan? I might as well have. I kicked her out. She had nowhere to go. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. Uh huh. The coroner's report says that Evelyn was killed with a wrench. I think you did it and then planted the evidence at McCaffrey's apartment for us to find. 
We went to his apartment. McCaffrey was up on the roof. Evelyn stole the book. <laughs> McCaffrey went crazy when he found out. He said, he said he would put her out of her misery. He can be very cruel. I will be back for you, bitch. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key, present from the prop department at her old movie studio. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. You think about what you've no done, mister. The captain finds out. With your bloody face. All right, where's the next interview room? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, okay, here it is. I can never figure this place out. Hello, hello. You ready to answer some questions? You think I have all the answers? People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. I do not like this guy. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. Yeah, sure you were. You're lying, McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? Crap. Jesus Christ, I don't have anything. <laughs> Looks like I made a mistake. Well, that sucks. And you have someone who can corroborate your story. Unfortunately, no. We found the lug wrench that Evelyn was battered with in your apartment, and the note from her mother, and your blood-stained clothing. We have you cold, McCaffrey. You think if I could be bothered to murder Evelyn Summers, I would be stupid enough to leave the evidence in my apartment? Lie. I don't believe you, Grosvenor. The evidence says that you killed her. You can prove that I wanted to kill Evelyn? The tire iron, sir. The tire iron. What? There's be much more of this. It's just that I wanted to get home and work. Dang it. Sucks. I should have chose the accusation. He beat her up bad. So Operator, I give me R and I. I return the favor. Putting you through now. Guy gave his wife a tap. I said. Cole Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. How could I help, detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Convictions for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the army during training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. Says he almost beat the woman to death. Thanks for your help. Oh, ho, ho. I got some questions for you. You were in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw, it changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? You're lying. You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? Dude, you have a criminal record. I just called. Don't you... We're the fucking police. We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. Beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore! She tried to steal from my wallet. I could have...
fought for this country. I could have. You beat her because she stole from you, because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch. What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her! Uh. Grosvenor McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady and never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot. Grant. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse, and neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot in a prison graveyard. Sweet. Look at his face. You mad, bro?